Let's move on to the perpetual inventory system using third-party application and integration. Now, this is the one that most people that deal with Shopify accounting don't generally recommend. So I wanna point that out first, but before I dive into it. So now let's think about what this uh, contains. Find third-party application that pulls in each transaction, allowing us to use QuickBooks Online to track inventory on a perpetual inventory basis. In other words, there's many different types of, of integrations out there that can allow us to help us pull information in from the third-party platforms like the Shopify's and the Amazon into the QuickBooks system. Now, QuickBooks itself has an integration in uh, the QuickBooks system, which possibly could be used for Shopify, Amazon, uh, or eBay. But like with many other applications, that one's trying to simplify the method by not pulling in all of the data sale by sale. It's not making a sales receipt for every transaction that's happening or tracking inventory on a perpetual inventory system. That's what most people kind of recommend not to track all the time, every single uh, transaction. We'll get into that in a little bit more detail, but some other softwares, you might find some that do allow you to pull in the full transaction. And so you have to be careful in terms of if you're using third party integrations, uh, what the integration is doing, is it doing the format that you want? So perpetual inventory system using third party application integration pros and cons. So it provides a lot of detailed information, including customer data. That's gonna be one of the pros. We're pulling it over, not just a summary of the transactions, but the entire, uh, the entire thing. So we're gonna have all the customers uh, in our system, which could be nice, because then we can kind of look around and have everything within one QuickBooks Online. Tracks inventory and cost of goods sold on a perpetual basis. So if we were in an on-ground system, then what would happen is when we purchase the inventory, we would have an increase not only in the dollar amount and unit of inventory, but also a, a subsidiary schedule, which would be tracking it by units using kind of a flow assumption method, like a first in, first out, or a weighted average method. And then when we sell the inventory with a sales receipt or invoice, it will actually reduce the inventory for us. So, and that's similar to what happens when you do a self checkout at say a grocery store. The grocery store is actually recording the decrease in the inventory and the related cost of goods sold at the point in time you do the scan, even though you only see the sales side of things. So if that's all set up properly, that would be great. However, the cons are, it's complicated to set up requiring the impl implement, uh, implementation of inventory items into QBO. In other words, if, you were going to set up a system where you pull over every sales transaction from a Shopify or an Amazon into your QuickBooks system, you would have to set up inventory items that match the data that's being pulled in so that when you create the sales receipts, QuickBooks Online knows which inventory items to be tracking with that. That gets quite complex and detailed depending on how much stuff you're selling on these, on these online platforms and how many different types of inventory you have on it. Uh, you may not uh, need data in both QuickBooks Online and third-party platform. In other words, you already have the customer data, the sales data. You can put the customers on your, on your mailing list possibly from the data before it gets into QuickBooks. So you probably don't need to track every customer transaction because you already have that data in another system. Uh, over time, large volumes of sales can slow down QBO. This is one of the big problems because if you're on Shopify or Amazon, usually you're trying to sell large volumes of inventory. And if you pull in large volumes of inventory into QuickBooks, a bunch of transaction, heavy loads of transactions, it could start to bog down QuickBooks and slow down QuickBooks at some point in time. Also, just note that QuickBooks Online uh, isn't really designed for more complicated inventory tracking systems. It's a fairly basic inventory tracking system when you're using the the perpetual inventory system mainly designed for basically on ground inventory tracking. Once your inventory needs gets more complicated, it, it the QuickBooks online inventory tracking system might not be sophisticated enough to deal with it. 
And if you want to track it in more detail, you might then need an integration of like a, a third party applicant.